Well, howdy there, my fellow riders. I hope you're ready to see the most rootinous tootinous mountain bikes in the wild, wild west, because today is our very first mountain bike and shootout, which is really just a fancy marketing term for buyer's guide. But anyway, we're gonna be taking a look at four different models across the polygon range from all disciplines, starting off with cross country and going all the way to enduro. So buckle up those bootstraps, boys and girls, because this rodeo is about to get started. First off, in the cross-country corner, we have the Polygon Syncline C5. This purebred cross-country race machine is built for riders who strive to climb fast, podium some cross-country races, or want to explore the back country. The Syncline begs to be ridden hard with its laterally stiff, full carbon frame. While some bikes don't have enough room for even one bottle, the Syncline has enough for two full-size bottles so you can explore until your heart is content. It's equipped with a 120mm Fox 32 rhythm fork, which has been developed by racers to push the limits of what a lightweight cross-country fork can do. As for the drivetrain, it's sporting Shimano's SLX 1x12, which offers market-leading shifting performance for an amazing value. Riders will experience crisp and precise shifting in all conditions through the wide range of gears. Stopping power comes from Shimano MT410 hydraulic brakes, which offer a lot of power with precise control in a small, lightweight package. And with boost through axles front and rear, the Syncline C5 adds extra stiffness and control to keep agility at an absolute maximum. Now in the downcountry trail corner, we have the Polygon Siskiyou D7 SE. This steed is built for the everyday enthusiast who plans to relentlessly shred the local trail system. Thanks to its slacker head tube angle, longer reach, and steeper seat angle, the D7 is efficient in the climbs and zippy in the descents. In addition to this, the D7 is an unbelievably capable bike, providing optimal comfort while maintaining responsive handling and stability. The fork is provided by SR Suntour and it's their 120mm radon air fork featuring a boost through axle. With its super slick, hard anodized 32mm stanchions, this fork delivers solid performance. Out back is a RockShox Deluxe Select Plus shock, which gives the rider 120mm of fantastic pedaling support. Its drivetrain is a wide-range Shimano Deor 1x11, which is an ultra-reliable shifting platform optimized to keep you in the saddle as opposed to wrenching. The D7's Shimano MT201 brakes are the perfect foray into hydraulic brakes with their definitive response and dependable performance. Polygon wanted to ensure riders felt stable on varying terrain, that's why they've incorporated a dropper seat post and wide handlebars that allow you to descend with confidence. Functionality was at the forefront of the design of the D7SE. Once you shred your local trails, you'll understand why. Next up, in the trail all-mountain corner, it's the Polygon Siskiyou T8. This bike is built for the ambitious trail rider who isn't afraid to dip their toes into some gnarly features like big drops, sizable jumps, and chunky rocks. In the words of Lone Wolf, this bike is more than capable to be ridden at a very high level. From the confidence-inspiring and slack head tube angle to the steep seat tube angle, you'll be primed to rip it uphill with ease and send it down those gnarly backcountry lines. The T8 packs a serious punch and is shrouded in performance-ready components like the Fox 34 Rhythm Fork and Fox Float DPS Rear Shock, which provides 150 and 140 travel on the 27.5 model and 140, 135 travel on the 29er. This suspension balances weight and performance perfectly, feeling nimble while still being able to face some aggressive trail features. The Tektra Orion 4-pot brakes front and rear bring powerful, reliable, and pronounced stopping power for anything the trail can throw your way. It, like the Syncline C5, rocks the Shimano SLX 1x12 drivetrain for that same crispy and precise shifting. And a lot like the D7 SE, a dropper post and wide cockpit have been included on the T8 for a confidence-inspiring ride. From the one-piece unibody pivot bridge, internal cable routing, and overall frame design, the T8 is the king of trail bikes within its price category. And for our final bike in the Enduro Gravity Corner, it's the monster, the Polygon Colossus N9. Built with passion and purpose, the N9 is an absolute trail brute that utilizes a combination of burly components and innovative technology, allowing you to tackle the rowdiest lines and eat up gaps with ease. This full 29er is an ultra-aggressive, agile enduro bike for riders wanting to conquer personal limitations on the mountain or race at the world level. From the low standover height and modern reach numbers, the Colossus N9 floats over gnarly roots and rocks, all while staying composed. 
Not only is its new IFS linkage platform a game changer, this Enduro Slayer is kitted out with hard hitting components. The N9 comes with a Fox 38 Performance Fork and a Fox Float X2 Elite Rear Shock, providing 170 millimeters of travel both front and rear. These professional level suspension components are a top choice amongst Enduro riders around the world for a reason. You can expect virtually no compromises in suppleness, climbing efficiency, mid-stroke support, and bottom-out resistance. SRAM Kodar brakes with some massive rotors give you all of the stopping power you could ever want when the going gets rough. The extremely tactile Shimano XT 12-speed group set gives riders a laser-focused, premium shifting experience. With its wide bars, dropper post, rib chainstay protector, internal cable routing, chain guide, bash guard, and down tube protector, this machine is chomping at the bit and ready to get rowdy. And there you have it, cowboys and cowgirls. This shootout has come to a close. But this town ain't big enough for all these bikes, so make sure that you comment below on which one you think is the most rootinest tootinest. Smash that like button if you think I made an awful cowboy. Now be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay tuned in on all of our latest content. As always, I'm Jared with Bikes Online, and I'll see you around.